What's up guys, I've got something very special for you today um, That is a 124th scale, um, a 1989 Batmobile It's made by Jada Toys It's their new metal die-cast line And um, I mean, it's just beautiful this thing, it's, it, it's amazing The Batmobile itself is a full die-cast body on a plastic base, you will very standard mm, model construction nowadays for die-cast model. Uh, what is very special about this one is that, is it, that it actually comes with a small scale Michael Keaton there. <laughs> a, a small scale Batman, sorry, played by Michael Keaton, of course. Um, now, as you can see right there, I, I kind of really like the look of that Batman because, according to me, he captures the look of Michael Keaton very well on his face. I can try to zoom in there. You see he's got a little bit of a wider face, just like Michael Keaton um, in that movie. And he's got the beautifully sculpted Batman logo, 89 Batman logo, which is pretty damn awesome. Um... The car itself looks absolutely stunning, I have no complaints whatsoever about it, it's even got quite a bunch of little special features about it and that just makes it ever so special. Um, now, it, as far as being movie accurate, this thing, I have to tell you, it's actually pretty damn close to what's in the movie. Like, the... I mean, it's not marketed as a specific 1989 Batmobile, it's more like Batmobile and Batman. And the reason for that is because it's been played in two movies, the 1989 Batman and the 1992 Batman, Batman Returns. And it's actually two variants of the Batmobile there. Because in the 89, the wheels, they are actually silver, completely silver, the rims. While in the uh, 92 movie, it's actually just like that with the um, black rims and the silver bat logo in the center. I think it looks better like that, but it's just extremely beautiful to me. Um, now, it doesn't come exactly like that in the box because I, I just put it in there so that you see approximately how it, it is displayed when you get it. But it's actually got all of its features revealed, etc. And I'm going to show you. And uh, in the back of the box, uh, you see here some other metal die casts. So I've got this one. There's the classic TV series, the 66 Batmobile, the Dark Knight um, Batmobile, Dark Knight Trilogy Batmobile, and the newer BVS Batmobile, which honestly is not much of my cup of tea. I mean, I don't know about that, but. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but not. I'm not such a big fan of this one. So, uh, let's get it out of the box. And I actually bought it on eBay. And, um, I mean, it came in, in, in the, via the mail, of course. I mean, you can see a little footage right there. And um came in in around a month or so. But really, for the price you pay for that, it's absolutely worth it. Like, it's it retails for about $20 or something. And, um, I mean, yeah, it's just absolutely uh, fantastic for the, the thing. The feel of it is beautiful. Now, let me get it out of the box for you, will you? Yeah, so it just shifted the view, but let's just try to see. How it is right there, and yeah, comes in with that little base plate. Now, um, I got this a couple of days ago, and I'm not going to remove the Batman yet because um, he's still pretty much brand new. He's still sealed on the base, but all you need to know about him is that it's a an old diecast body. He's actually made out of metal, but the rubber. The cape, rub uh, the cape is actually made out of rubber, a soft rubber material. The cowl as well, he's got rubber ears, so uh, again, safe for children and whatsoever. But the main body is actually made out of um, metal. What's very 
uh, I mean, I mean, that's really, huh, that's really unfortunate. Uh, it's the fact that it actually has zero articulation. So you cannot articulate it or put it in the Batmobile. It's just for show. But still, the fact that it ships with an, a movie-accurate Batman that you can display next to the vehicle just makes the model extremely cool. So before we get started, let me just give you a little, quick little uh, tour of the Batmobile. Beautiful side profile. So now that we're done with that, let me just walk you through a couple of the features of the Batmobile. Um, first of all, as you, as I've told you, um, it's a full diecast body and it's a little bit dense around the back. And that's because all of these wings, etc., they are not hollow. They are actually filled with the metal. So it's really nice. Um, uh, again, plastic base. What is really cool, makes the model very realistic, is the fact that it's got full rubber tires, it's actually squishy, I don't know if I can show that on camera, but believe me, it's actually rubber, it looks very good. Um, the front, also rubber, and uh, I mean, the model on its own, it, it rolls really nicely, I mean, um, like, if I was to like just put it there, it would just like roll pretty um easily and smoothly that's what i like about it and um now we can see that the front uh, turbine engine right there it's actually highlighted in a gunmetal gray color a gunmetal gray sheen according to me it looks absolutely beautiful um we can see also that it's got the blades replicated inside pretty neat uh, on the side there, where you'd have your grappling hook uh, right here, it's not molded, but this part's supposed to come down and the grappling hook pops out. Still painted in that same gunmetal grey sheen right there. And probably one of my favourite parts about it is the back. I think they've done a, an amazing job. Like, I mean, they've, they've replicated, like, the right exhaust. Uh, I mean... The exhaust has got the right detailing on them. They, they, they've even got the rivets around the uh, circumference, etc. Formed them just like in the movie. Still highlighted in the same gunmetal grey sheen. And I think it's very movie accurate in the color in which it's painted. It's not black or chrome. It's actually very accurate. On the inside, it's a little bit hard to see. But believe me, let me try to adjust my lighting there. I mean... um. All right, just just uh, give me a second. Um, it's actually not a hollow, like completely black or hollow um, afterburner there or jet exhaust. It's actually got the um, smaller exhaust pipes, uh, exhaust pipes, just like in the movie where the fire would come from, and it's even got a pointy tip in the middle, just like in the movie. It's not uh, flat, it's actually got a, a little um, pointy feature in the center. It's very hard to see because it's so dark. Um, but yeah, definitely. As you can see right there, that's what's the pointy tip I was talking about. It's not completely flat and it's just like in the movie. It's even got the little rib in the center like a, and on the two sides there, just like in the movie. Very well replicated. I didn't expect such a good level of detailing in it. And it's just beautiful. Right, so now jumping into the features. I mean, it, it's got a few of them. Makes it very special. Well, firstly, in the most obvious one, you see the slit in the top there. And that's because the canopy actually slides open. And it's just very smooth and satisfying to, um, to open and close. And, I mean, it's got quite a bit of detailing in there, man. I mean, for the price, 20 bucks and all these features, I, I, you can't expect a lot. But, I mean, I have to say, it's got quite a bunch of detail. Starting off with um, 
you can definitely see the little control panel right there okay it's actually painted and highlighted so that's pretty cool and you see the main or uh, I mean let, let me just move the camera a little bit for you right okay so it's not too obvious to do that but you can definitely see you have got the uh, three little gear shift sticks and like they they are in the right color but definitely they are highlighted and it looks good and um, let me just shift the view right right so it's kind of still hard to see but you do have uh, all the details molded and two um, of the gauges actually uh, these are actual stickers on them so they look great and these are the levers I was talking to you about and you even have a screen far out there but you can't see it the steering wheel is all there it, it's just beautiful and uh, yeah so it closes and it opens just like that now it's got a bit of friction here so it won't like open on its own um, but I mean definitely a great feature to have you can display it like that it actually comes in open like that in the box so that's great okay so another great feature is around the back um, you can actually open I guess I want to call it the hood I mean sort of and um, you it actually reveals part of the jet engine the rear end of the jet engine in the back it looks very nice I mean you'd probably imagine that's how a jet engine rear end would look like without the pipes etc and yeah it actually closes very nice all die cast and probably the best feature that um, was not necessary to include for a relatively small scale um, replica but it, they just did it and it looks amazing is the fact that you can go gun blazing and the guns actually pop out pop open like that it's just beautiful I mean they're a little bit loose on mine I mean this side in particular the other one is fine but I mean just look at that how dope does that even look like it looks great like if you lower the car to like I mean if you lower the camera to like the level of the car it actually looks very very good like I'm not even kidding like just look at that and the guns right they are highlighted again in the same gunmetal gray color and they just flip so that's really nice feature there and you can even like um open these up I just get them to open up like that and then you can still slide the canopy open and just display it it actually comes like that um, in the package right how cool does that look like it looks absolutely amazing